In this video, we're going to be doing some very basic rotation. You can see I've called it uh, rotation level one. And the reason behind that is that as you can see in this, we're going to keeping uh, we're going to be keeping our center fixed and that is the origin. So we'll do 90 degree clockwise, which is the same thing as 270 degree anti-clockwise. We'll do 180 degrees. Now with 180 degrees, we don't specify the direction because it's kind of understood whether you rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise, it remains the same. Okay, and then we will do 90 degree anti-clockwise, which is the same thing as 270 degree clockwise. Okay, and just so you know, the center of rotation, in case you didn't watch the last video, this is what we mean by the center of rotation. The, so imagine that you have a clock. So the point at which the hour hand is fixed, that point is the center of rotation because that is where it rotates about. Okay. All right. So here's an example. And in this, we are going to be rotating the point A, 3 comma 0. So you can see I've written A on the grid here about the origin. So there are three parts to this question. And in the first one, we'll rotate it 90 degree clockwise and then 180 degrees and then 90 degrees anti-clockwise. OK, so let's start by rotating it 90 degrees clockwise. So what I want to do now is that I'm going to make an arrow from the center, which is origin in this case. And now this is this is just so that you understand the concept over here. Okay, now 90 degree clockwise means now in order to um, not get confused between clockwise and anticlockwise, I would suggest that you do the following. You write 12 here, three, six, and nine. You know, just the hours, uh, just the numbers that we see on a clock. Okay, just so that you know what direction you have to follow. Okay, so we've already made this um, arrow here. Now rotating this 90 degree clockwise means that uh, imagine that you have the hour hand at three. What happens if you rotate it 90 degree clockwise? So what happens when it moves 90 degree clockwise? Where does it end up? This is where it ends up, okay? And what do we have now? We have our point over here. Now, one thing that I would suggest is that first you mark the point and then write down the coordinates, okay? Don't rush into writing down the coordinates because you will mess it up, okay? Trust me, you will mess it up. So I've rotated it now 90 degree clockwise and the rotated coordinates are zero comma minus three. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna choose the same arrow. Okay, and let's drag it back to its original place. Okay, there you go. Now rotating it 180 degrees. Now, like I said earlier, with 180 degrees, we don't specify the direction. Doesn't matter whether I do it clockwise or anti-clockwise, it makes no difference, okay? So rotating this 180 degrees means that now it's three units to the right from the center. 180 degrees after rotation means that it's gonna be three units to the left from the center. So where does it land? It lands over here and the coordinates are going to be minus three comma zero. So let's write that down, minus three comma zero. There you go, that's your answer. Okay, and then it says 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Okay, let's see how does that work, 90 degree anti-clockwise. So we're gonna go back over here, change this arrow. Now 90 degrees anti-clockwise means that, uh, so let's refer to the uh, numbers that I wrote. Okay, so 90 degree anti-clockwise means that it's gonna end up over here. And what are the coordinates after rotation? The coordinates are zero comma three. So let's write that down. And there you go, that's it. That's uh, example number one, done. Now let's do another example just to be on the safe side. So here we have a point which has coordinate zero comma minus four. And this point also we're gonna rotate about the origin 90 degree clockwise, 180 degrees and 90 degree anti-clockwise, okay. So here's our point, rotating it 90 degree clockwise means that imagine the hour hand is at six. If it moves 90 degree clockwise, it's gonna end up at nine which means it ends up at minus four comma zero. Okay, and then imagine the hour hand is at six, rotating at 180 degrees, irrespective of the direction means that it's gonna end up at 12, which means that it ends up at zero comma four. Now, here's the hour hand back to its original place, 90 degree anti-clockwise means that imagine it's at six, rotating at 90 degree anti-clockwise means it's gonna end up at three which means the coordinates are going to be four comma zero. And there you go, that's it. Uh, that's example number two solved. Now I will encourage you, however, to solve example number three yourself. Okay, you can take a screenshot of it and uh, perform the rotation and leave your answer in the comment section. And uh, hopefully I will see whether it's correct or not. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we will um, be doing level two of rotation. Okay, where the center will again be the origin, but just like, um, well, unlike in these examples where the point was in line horizontally or vertically with the origin or with the center in the next uh, level, 
it's not going to be in line with the center okay so i'll see you in the next video until then take care bye bye